Are you missing the twists and turns of the Wagatha Christie trial saga? <laughs> no, me neither. Well, <laughs> soon <laughs> you'll be able to watch it all over again as Channel 4 turns Rebecca Vardy and Colleen Rooney's court case into a documentary drama. The famous Wags and their footballer husbands, Wayne Rooney and Jamie Vardy, will be played by actors, but real court transcripts will be used. The defamation case came, of course, after Colleen accused Rebecca's Instagram account of being the culprit who leaked false stories about her private life. Vardy denied the allegations and sued Colleen for libel. The ruling is yet to be announced, but planning for the, dra for the drama is already underway. So who should they cast? as the leading ladies. JJ, you got a bit of showbiz <laughs> in your kind of CV. You know stuff, <laughs> you know names of people, big old contacts book there. Who's going to play these, these main characters? We're not going to get anyone A-list doing this. It's Channel 4. You so don't think? No, no chance. They haven't got enough cash for that. So it's going to be someone like Michelle Keegan, decent enough actress, and she'll probably do this job. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly Walsh from Girls Aloud. She could right. probably do it as well. She's a bit-time actress. And then Johnny Vegas for Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Are we missing an obvious trick here? I mean, why do they actually need actors? Why don't they just get the actual characters to play themselves? They would love it, wouldn't they? I mean, they... they... Well, this world is so vain, the that's just possible that they would go, yeah, I'll do it. It's good, good to ask. Because if you don't ask, you don't the get. Other side. I have to say, I, I genuinely, I would not recognise either of these women no. if I passed yeah, them in the street, yeah. as I'm sure they would feel the same way about me. I was thinking you could put Dawn French and Nicole Kidman in, as far as I could tell, <laughs> and, that, and that would mean as much as me. I mean, there were two facts in this story. I mean, the original tweet, uh, the da-da-da, EastEnders mm -hmm. stuff, da-da-da, you know, that was superb. <laughs> and then the fact about the, the phone that mysteriously got lost in the North Sea. Yeah. Other than that, yeah. I thought it was quite a dull trial. And we still haven't had the verdict, and these things grind What's on and on and on. And How hard can it you've be? You've enough court cases. Why on earth Yeah, is it I mean, it's quite common for libel verdicts to take absolutely ages, but I've never understood why. I mean, surely if you're the judge and you're sitting there, you're pretty sure by the end of it which way yeah. you're going. What do you, what do, you do? So, you go, do you just go, I'll, I'll, I'll read a bit more? Or yeah. what, what do you, do you make a decision and month. then wonder if you've got it wrong? I've got a better idea. I think you're being a bit sort of low rent, JJ. I mean, <laughs> you need to think about people who've got experience of libel cases, so maybe you should think about... Meghan Markle. I mean, let's go out market. <laughs> or, or Amber Heard. I mean, let's yeah. make this a really exciting drama. Now, that let's would get be some box viewers. Office, <laughs> I mean, that would be box. It does. It does. Because I would really mix it up. So I would have uh, Rebecca Vardy would be played by Daniel Craig, and I would have <laughs> uh, Rooney played by Al Pacino. I think you know you really kind of because it's. That the whole thing is such a crock of nonsense, frankly, isn't it? I agree with Julia. <laughs> I tried to watch this. I said, like, what is the attraction to this? It's like dirty laundry in public on acid. I mean, it was... And the waste of so court pointless. time. Waste of so, court time. Okay. I mean, there are so many cases... She said, that she said, who court? said this about uh, me? But you know, but you know you, oh. I mean, the lawyers, they made millions out of It's all right, isn't it? And, they did okay. you know, they, I mean, frankly, seems to me that they sort of promoted this whole thing and they must have just said, you've got to go, you're going to win, you're going to yeah. win. As always. And happy days, the, well, lawyers, the lawyers win don't... and everybody else loses. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the extraordinary amount of time and effort. I mean, you did get the impression Absurd. that the, both the husbands, when they were in court, Look, were just sort of, oh, oh yeah. God, please. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, 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 really poor judgment on everyone's part from start to finish. Yeah. Okay. Do you think, JJ, when they when they have these kind of uh, docudramas, there was one we talked about the other day, wasn't it? Something else they're dramatising. I can't remember what it was. Oh, Harry and Meghan. Oh, it was yeah. Harry and the, for goodness sake, what Meghan. happened to... We <laughs> used to worship Tchaikovsky and uh, Picasso and things like that as our culture. And now this is what passes for entertainment, for goodness sake. And does uh, Channel 4, do they have to pay the characters, the, you know, the, the, the original... The real oh, Vardy and Rudy. That, that kind of no. Like a sort of a, a royalty fee? No, I, don't I think so, it would have no. been in public domain, yeah. so you yeah. wouldn't yeah, really have to. Well, they'll try and sue anyway, and then we'll start the whole thing all over again. <laughs> Listen, guys, you lot may not be interested, but I'm telling you, this is going to be a massive hit. It's going to be think a different it ratings. But you've Absolutely. got to get the right stuff. This is huge. This is the thing about these two women are huge. And genuinely, if I'd even said their names to my dad, he'd be like, I don't even know what you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. These are made up characters. These two women are absolutely huge. They sell stuff, they make a mm -hmm. fortune, they are names in their own right. And it just, it's in a completely different world. I wonder, though, if a, 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 
this could be a kind of a slight satirical twist to it. I mean, it's Channel 4. I don't imagine this would be... If it was one of those kind of real low-rent cable so channels from years ago, were they? I wonder if they will. I wonder if it will be written in a way that is meant to clearly... Critical, all the points we've been making about the futility and the yeah, nonsense I think it will of this be. kind I think of stuff. Right. It's, it's right. got, it's got something to be there. And you, you'll know more about this, but the type of stuff that Channel 4 commissions will tend to have more of an angle to it, won't it? It's not ITV, is it? I mean, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But this country does love... Uh, a nice documentary though. We love crime docs, so this is mm. this is feeling nicely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>